one very important cause of cardiomyopathy is the big O, obesity. So obesity is also a cause of cardiomyopathy. So you can have people who are overweight, who are morbidly obese, they can come in with low ejection fractions. Part of it is because also uh, a lot of these uh, obese patients have obstructive sleep apnea and have uh, increased pulmonary pressure and have, they have all the other issues. They can have atrial fibrillation, so they can have all these multi-factors that will contribute, con contribute to uh, re reducing their ejection fraction. Other causes are like inflammatory, like peripartum, uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy, so uh, pregnancy um, can be uh, uh, a cause of cardiomyopathy. Uh, sometimes uh, collagen vascular disease like systemic lupus erythematosus or scleroderma, that's also a cause of cardiomyopathy. Dermatomyositis. To myositis, these are also causes. These are all causes. Let's not forget the big sarcoid. So this is also there. All right, now how about hypersensitivity? Some people are hypersensitive and their hearts may be like also hypersensitive. So you can have hypersensitivity myocardi myocarditis. So hypersensitivity myocarditis. And these can be causes to a different reaction to uh, different things. And th those different things that can cause that, like sulfa. So if you have hypersensitivity to sulfa, this can affect your heart. Penicillin. This can also affect your heart. Uh, alpha methyl dopa, and if you guys don't remember what this is, this is the antihypertensive that we can give in uh, in pregnant ladies. Uh, amphotericin B, th this is also there. Uh, phenytoin, phenytoin is a class one, um, is a class one B antiarrhythmic, and it's also an anti, uh, it's also uh, anti seizure medication. Uh, sometimes I and H, sometimes the tetanus toxoid, HCTZ can also cause that, uh, and uh, dobutamine. Okay, and now there's one entity that's also more on the rare side is giant cell, uh, is giant cell myocarditis. This is uh, this is uh, a very very uh, uh, dangerous kind of cardiomyopathy that it's very it happens very very quickly like usually patients are very sick and um, within uh, just like within 24 to 48 hours they, be, they go into congestive heart failure and cardiogenic shock so these people um, are usually like uh, ladies in their 40s or like uh, they're like younger younger ladies and they can go into uh, this kind of uh, cardiomyopathy very very quickly it is a very very dangerous um, subtype so now just to summarize remember all these causes that we said this the they all constitute only this okay so this part are all the causes that we said however this whole thing continues to be coronary artery disease so that's why we always say it's a class one indication for anybody who comes in with a low ejection fraction less than 50 percent is to have a cardiac catheterization in order to rule out this whole thing and then the second the second thing here is we have no idea what it is it's just idiopathic Okay, so this whole thing is coronary artery disease, this is idiopathic, and there are tons and tons of causes all just constituting this, this tiny little bit fraction of cardiomyopathy.